Hello, my name is Dr. Sadaf and I'm one of the junior doctors in this department. Today I will be performing an uh, examination for a patient with meningitis. Uh, so before approaching the patient, you need, if you're suspecting meningitis in them, you need to take all universal precautions and personal pr protective uh, procedures should be uh, done before uh, you approach a patient with meningitis. So starting off, uh, Dr. Kamran will be simulating a patient in this video. Hello, my name is Dr. Sadaf, I'm here to help you. Hello, can I know your name please? Hello. Is the light bothering you? Yes. Are you in pain? Could I please offer the patient some analgesia and dim off the lights please, as he is having photophobia. Is it better now? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Could I have you lie on your uh, back please? Now we will check the GCS of the patient to assess um, how his eye verbal and motor response is. Uh, could you please open your eyes for me? I'm one of the junior doctors looking after you. Uh. I'm so sorry about that. The patient has responded to verbal command and has opened the eyes. So the eye response is 3. Could you please... Hello, my name is Dr. Sadaf. Could you please... Um, Tell me uh, what your name is. Kamran. Okay, good. And Kamran, where do you think you are at the moment? Park. Okay. And do you know what time of the day it is? Is it morning or evening? Night. Okay, thank you very much. So the patient on verbal response, he is uh, answering my questions, but he is not well oriented in time, place and person. So uh, the verbal response score would be a four. Uh, now I will be moving on to the motor uh, response score. Uh, could you please uh, ra raise your arm for me? Could you please lift your right arm for me? The patient is not moving the arm on verbal command. Now I will use a pain stimulus to see whether he withdraws to pain or not. Uh, the patient has responded to pain by withdrawing the right arm, which means that uh, he has a motor response of uh, 4. So a total score of uh, 3 in the eye response. Uh, 4 in the verbal response and 4 in the motor response makes a total of uh, 4 plus 4, 8 and 3, 11. So the GCS is 11. Below 8 we usually need to intubate the patient because of respiratory compromise. After checking the GCS we will be moving to specific um, uh, signs which are to be examined in a patient with meningitis, um, namely neck stiffness, uh, Brzezinski and Koenig signs. Uh, Kamran, can can you please uh, touch your chin on your chest, please? Could you try touching your chin on your chest, please? The patient's n uh, neck is stiff and he is unable to touch the chin on the chest. Now I will be performing it for him. I'm very sorry about this, but I'll be raising your, I'll be lifting your head a bit so that your chin can touch your chest, okay? I'm very sorry about that. Okay, so the Brzezinski uh, sign is positive in my patient as uh, on touching the chin towards the chest, um, the patient uh, lifted and flexed his uh, legs um, and that is positive in meningitis. Moving on to the Koenig signs. Kamran, can I please lift your leg up? The patient needs to have a 90 degrees at the hip and a 90 degrees at the knee as well. And now after this, I'll try to straighten his leg at the knee and let's see what the response is. I'll be straightening your leg for a, for a bit. I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry about that. So the patient flexed the head and the other leg as well. Um, so we can see that we have a positive Koenig sign. So all three signs were positive in my patient. So the patient has a possible uh, a probable meningitis. But to confirm it, we will do further investigations. Uh, a few more things that I'd like to do uh, um, with the neurological exam is uh, the pupillary reflex and the planters beneath um, the, um, the sole of the foot and also uh, the tone and reflexes um, on different joints of, of the body. 
After that, I will uh, inform my seniors and the infection control team to, to isolate the patient, send off the blood investigations, and start uh, the patient on antibiotics, give him a stat dose of uh, IV antibiotics straight away, and then start him on uh, antibiotics as per the hospital guidelines. Also, I would arrange for a CT scan, and then if need be, go for a lumbar puncture. Thank you very much, Dr. Kamran. Um, I hope you enjoyed and benefited from the video.